everyone this is grace here welcome to go for glee so the three diys today are kitchen diy deco and organization ideas that will look really aesthetic in your kitchen so for the first one the materials are listed on the screen the old plastic container and this is contact paper uh, i finally decided to go with this cute moroccan print I took a measurement of the side of the plastic container and here I am just uh, drawing it. I have cut it with the uh, scissors and in order to match the pattern I will be cutting this side too. So uh, as you know contact paper is like a sticker so you just need to peel it out and then start sticking it but working with such a large paper is a little difficult so what I suggest is that uh, to make it easier you make it into smaller parts so that it is convenient to handle and we are done upcycling this old plastic container into something pretty was fun so for the second DIY uh, a ladle organizer we have to take an old tin this is a metal one you can't really hear the sound of it but I have tested a whole lot of paint on this I'm using acrylic paint uh, in white and this is a sponge brush but normal brush will be just as effective you will probably need two to three coats uh, if you're starting from scratch also added a little bit of chalk paint which I wanted to test but that's not really necessary you can stick with acrylic paint I've sped up the proceeding here because I have decided to paint some florals which I love doing and this is the color scheme that I have gone for but depending you can customize it to whatever colors you like so hope you enjoy this uh, floral painting as much as I did I wanted to retain the orange color which was in the Moroccan tile print and also added some complementary colors in the green so that it all looks cohesive when we ultimately all put them together I have switched to a round brush but you can work with whatever brush you have initially I was wor working with a flat brush And just when we need to focus my camera decides not to anyway we all lose focus sometime hope you like this one now for the third DIY which is a sign board you need a canvas board you can uh, go with any uh, color that you like the idea here is to give it a kind of a not a very blended but a rough uh, distressed kind of a look to the sign so you can use any brush or a sponge uh, brush whatever you have with you so even if the white is peeping through that's fine I used a little bit of white and blue paint blue acrylic paint so I was, I'm just going about till I like the feel of it and then I took a palette knife just to add a little distress but you can do it with any uh, sharp object of the end of your paintbrush too. Now here I'm marking two lines because we want it to look to give it the feel of uh, a sign board and then I went over it with a black marker. Now here I've tilted the board because I couldn't write the word 
wordings in that at that angle so i decided to go with the word grateful which i am really am and i think we all should be and then i'm going to add some florals uh, to finish it off any artificial flowers of your choice so i'm just adding a little bit of glue here very little because the flower is so lightweight that even a little will make it stick instantly to the board and we are done this is how it looks in my kitchen i think all the three diy's have come out really nice also i think uh, hope you try them and if you do please uh, let me know first of all what you think about it and how you like it and if you try it i'll be really happy to see your creations you can follow me on instagram too and the kitchen will not only look pretty with this decor and also organized at the same time thank you so much bye don't forget to like subscribe and share